right, let's see. Um, so currently, so all right, so I got the edict armor down. Um, so I got the edict armor down. What's next? Um, did I get re? I think here's medallion, right? I don't think I wrote that down yet, right? Nope. All right, and then heroes medallion. There we go. Uh, that is everything in my treasure room. Huh. I have a lot of shit. I'm just not realizing this. I have a lot of shit. But also a lot of it's random crap. I have like one, two more things to fill up. I guess let's hope I can get that done soon enough. Um, um, let's see. I got the Venus Diaries. My shit. Uh, enchanted books. What's this one? I actually forgot. Just like clockwork? Okay, that's what that is, I guess. I guess with that, that's what uh, that is, I guess. Um, hmm. Okay, so is this still working? I don't actually know if that still works. I know I have to go to a meeting soon. I know I have to head over to PK soon, so I don't want to be here for too long. But um, let's currently... Where's my mirror? Where's the mirror? It's in relics. I think it's in relics. Mirror, come out. There you are. Okay, I just want to see if this still works. So let's test it out with this, shall we? Yep, it still works. We're good. Okay, I just want, really wanted to make sure that still worked. All right, Jesus Christ. All right. Well, anyways, uh, how is stream? How is chat doing today? If you are there, how are you doing on this fine evening of Mythos content? Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, wait for a response. Uh, I think, yeah, my basement's still normal, right? Yeah, it's still my normal guest room basement. Um, there we go. Uh, anyone? No? No one? You know, fair enough. Why did they just text me? Whatever. Uh, is my fridge fine? Yeah, my fridge is fine. Okay. Uh. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, do I have any alcohol here? I kind of want some alcohol. Do I have any? Or am I out? I think I. Wait, I have some of this left. Good enough. Good enough, I guess. <sighs> All right, let's head over. <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing the I'm bringing this with me. You know what? No, I'm bringing this with me. You know? Jeez, it's still raining. I mean, I guess it's not too visible here, but it's still. Ugh, I can still sense the rain. I don't know why it's raining all the fucking time here. It's so annoying. Whatever, though. It's whatever. Jeez, the droplets, though. Okay, let's head in. Oh, I guess you opened it for me, I guess. One moment, I need to... Hey, my man! Um, hey, hello, how's it going? Is <laughs> you, you, the, the, it's very ironic that you showed up right then because I was taking a peek out to see if I was followed or not, and then and then you popped up over the horizon. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a wine glass? Yeah. I was drinking. <laughs> uh, you and Kathy. Jeez, what is with this rain? I don't. It's been raining for a while, man. Yeah, man. I. Can't remember the last time it did that, honestly. And also, it's kind of weird. Like, I mean, is yeah. this a desert? Well, yeah, it is desert, so the rain's a little bit weirder. 
I'm I'm just morally confused, but yeah, there's there's a lot more pressing matters. I'm assuming you got my letter, right? Yeah, I did. All right, good, good. And there's some new people from the looks of it. Uh, there are. And also there's a fishing thing set up. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my god, you, you actually scared me. Oh my goodness. Good lord, I was not... Was not ex <sighs> you actually... Are, are you okay. Did a little squirrel get a jump, jump on you? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It's because on my on my end, my headphones are like turned up all the way. So like, oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, the we the we made me jump. <laughs> hey Anyways, back in character. Hey, how, you, how have you been? Um, building a town. Yeah, that's been fun. Actually, Chris, what have you been up to? I haven't actually. Building, uh, let's see, but building, <laughs> building a town with her, um, I mean, I've been kind of just chilling, Charlie, honestly. No. I haven't had too much to do, so I've kind of just been oh, man. chilling. Honestly, I'm gonna I haven't, I, there's a lot that I have to, do. okay, you can just put that there, I guess. It's my alcohol. Well, food, well, considering the fact that you are the two members that probably most likely got the letters and whatnot, uh, Wait, there's what a lot. You just come about, about um, um, the letter. Yeah, I got bored. I sent, I sent you a letter. I sent which, all PK which members one? a letter. The the one about the meeting that we're supposed to be having. In like oh, that's minutes. what I forgot. I, I forgot that. <sighs> well, you didn't forget to show up to the keep, so I I, I no, I, I just didn't want to keep on um, building with Mario. I got bored. If we were in the keep, I would. <laughs> to each right their now. own, I guess. <laughs> to each their own, I guess. But yeah. Um, before we get to that, though, I Cam told me that someone by that name over there was gonna show up. So Which name? Esteban. That Esteban guy over there. Esteban. <laughs> Esteban. <laughs> Esteban. <laughs> Come on, don't make fun of his name. Come on. I'm not making fun of his name. I, I like was. it. Shut up, Chris. Well, <laughs> okay, behave yourselves, jeez. Come on. Anyways, the now deserted Lesser takes a few steps around, indulging in the, how amazing the architecture is in the keep. He notices you approach him and jolts your direction. Hey there, you must be the leader of this place. The name is Esteban, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Gotta say, that chicken anim and cam was very much right about coming to this place after I fled the edict. It's better than what I've seen. He reaches his hand out for a welcoming shake. Chicken? People what? people tend to confuse camp for a chicken animal. Oh. Is this thing gonna work? Oh god, no. Okay, there we go. Oh, it <laughs> hold on, hold on. It, it's lagging, it's lagging. Okay, here we go. You shake his hand and welcome him to the keep, but you also notice that he is not alone. Oh, I hope you don't mind at all, but I decided to pick up my uh, friend of mine. He has kind of been living the nomad lifestyle for quite some time, so I figured that... If, it was the time to, you know, get him properly set up and down into a proper home. <laughs> he won't bite. He's really harmless, and he often just talks about what he loves to do. Esteban leans in to tell you something in a whisper. He's a fisher, if you couldn't tell. He really likes fishing. Um, we um, kind of live, live in a desert. We live in a desert, I guess. I mean, there's, I mean, there's a lake over there. There's several yeah. rivers. I guess. <laughs> oh. Don't come on. <laughs> Anyways, um... <laughs> Bailey is your name. The smiling fisherman can be seen unpacking a lot of fishing supplies and stops what he's doing uh, once he sees you look over at him. Good morning there. <laughs> Say, isn't it a nice and lovely day to go do some fishing? <laughs> he seems to be in good spirits as you welcome him, but the look on your face shows surprisement. You haven't seen someone this happy in a long time. He notices that look that you're giving him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like Esteban said, I really love fishing, so if you ever need anything that has to do with that, I'm your guy. I've always wanted to set up a small shop of my own, so I think this rentable stall that you have open will do just the trick. Oh, and thank you for the warm welcome. I look forward to chatting with you and the rest of the people who live in this pe uh, peaceful settlement. settlement. <laughs> Peacekeeper? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's kind of, well, I mean, I mean... That, that's kind of the point of this place. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I made Honestly, the joke. 
Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, I was thinking about getting rid of these stalls and just putting mini houses there because, like, no one really uses them. But I'm honestly glad that he's actually oh, very much I could happy. I could set up a stall for tea because I'm bored, honestly. I mean, if... Man, you remind me of soul. I could have another bakery. You already have a bakery. A second one. You don't need a second bakery. Okay, so so you have a tower, and now you have a bakery. I have but, two. Oh, yes. yeah. And then I'm going to have a third tower. Two, two towers. Two towers bakery. and then one bakery. To, to each their own, I guess. I, I have a town. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying you can't do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I named the bakery Soulful Bakery, so. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I made the sign for it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a giant it's cupcake. Nice. I mean, I mean, if you wanted to make, put a tea stall here, I wouldn't mind it at all. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Might be tea and assorted goods, you know, like a, like a. I don't know, maybe I could make a deal with Bailey and sell, like, some cooked fish or something. Possibly. I mean... I thought you were going somewhere else with that, and I was about to vomit. Um... All right, well, before we get to the meeting, it looks like everybody's just talking Chilling. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. All right, hold on just a second. Uh... Okay. Give me, a, give me a minute, chat. I was I was told to talk to these NPCs in a certain way, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Yay! here we go. I got, I got it. Okay, okay. So it's okay. So we start with Ruben. All right, just pretend that didn't happen. Anyways, Shh. Ruben and Hazel seem to be talking to Aster about his life as an ex edict member. Their constant questioning seems to be giving an awkward effect on Aster as he is visibly stiffening, feeling irrit. Um, Interrogated. Interrogated, yeah. From the amount of questions they have. I'm surprised you're still alive. I always thought that the Edict were the die for honor type. How did you live through all that? What's your secret? <laughs> were you not in the field that much? I mean, uh, I don't blame him. I'd kind of want to know what that's like. Yeah. Hazel? Hazel seems to be a bit hesitant to keep going, noticing the uncomfortable look on Aster's face as he nudges Ruben to lower the amount of questions. Ruben, maybe we should tone it down a bit. Hazel notices you standing there and doesn't hide their worried look. Hey, Justin, can you check on Aster? I'm kind of worried about him from all the questions we've been asking you. Um, we don't want any harm. We're just curious. Hazel looks down, feeling a little guilty. Fair enough. I mean, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's fine, but like... Uh, Chris, you got this one. Hold on. Oh. There you go. Go ahead. One moment. Uh, it's... Okay, there we go. Okay. Aster can be seen talking to Ruben and Hazel, giving a raised eyebrow at their questions. He looks a little uncomfortable until he notices you approach him. <laughs> oh, hey, Justin. Hazel and Ruben were just asking me questions about my time in the Edict. Don't worry, Justin. I expected people to be this curious. I don't really mind, I just prefer not to think about the bad stuff about my life, you know? Hazel and Ruben look at Astra worried that they might be asking too much for him. Click the dots, by the way. There's I more. I, I did. It's just stuff. It did. It's just stuff. Come on, what's up with these NPCs? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> what's up with the lag? Anyways, go on, go on. Okay. Um, One moment. Okay. Eh. There we go. Okay. Haha, <laughs> no worries, guys. It's fine, really. After this, let's let's get some food or something, okay? I think asking these questions while we fill our stomachs would be better, yeah? He's in room and smile and not in agreement as Aster chuckles, feeling like a big brother. I got this handled, Justin. Thanks for the concern. Now, shouldn't you be off somewhere else? You're probably busy, aren't you? <laughs> Aster continues to ask que- to answer the random questions from Ruben and Hazel with a smile on his face. Hmm. Well, well, at least they can Laddie. rest assured that they're all fine about it. Yeah. Laddie's doing okay. Yeah. The boy. I mean, <laughs> you did not just call Aster the boy. I don't boy. know. I've never met him before. Oh, uh, yeah, you were well, here for that one. Well, if you must know, some of the new faces around here are ex cultists. Is Aster new? I don't know. I don't remember most people. I remember Hazel and Ruben, but that's about it. Yeah, Aster, 
Asher, Maze over there, Blair. They're all ex Edict members. Oh. Yeah. Should I have let... been there or something? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll get to know them in due time. Anyways, Asher. If your dialogue would show up, please. Please load. <laughs> Good oh, lord, no. maybe it's because of all these people on the server. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Alright, I got this one. Oh man, I still can't believe I'm in the actual Soteria's Keep. I'm pinching myself just to make sure I'm not dreaming or anything. It still feels so surreal. Asher is constantly darting his eyes around while Blair giggles at his fanboyish attitude. He then notices your presence and immediately fixes himself, standing completely straight like a soldier in line. Oh, Justin, sir! I, I didn't notice you there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear anything weird, did you? Asher was visibly sweating and blushing in embarrassment at the thought of you might think that he was weird. <laughs> uh, what's the next? What's the next? Yeah. I'm excited. Apparently they, they're, apparently they were at the Atiran fight and they saw me rip apart a whole army, so... Oh. I would be impressed by that too, honestly. Right. I kind of forgot about To be fair, things. I'd be impressed too. So. No, no, trust me. That isn't the only time I've gone, Pharaoh, and we'll talk about that later. Anyways. Okay. Um, we'll do Blair now. Uh, Lily, this is you. Okay. Oh, good day, Justin. I decided to do a little stroll and start chatting with everyone. It gets boring to just sit around and do nothing. Sorry, I'm... Just used to being so productive that I can't sit, just can't sit still. Blair leans into whisper. By the way, I know Asher's kind of weird, but he means well. He just admires you so much, you know? I guess you could say he's a big, well, I mean, big fan of yours. <laughs> well then, yeah. I didn't think I'd have a fan. I mean, it, I, can be kind of badass sometimes. I wouldn't say that. <coughs> right. Anyways, you got this one as well. This is me. Um, okay. Um. <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up, Justin? I'm just talking to Blair over here about some stuff. Specifically about Asher over there. I'm worried he might be bothered you a lot, but Blair just lets him be, saying he won't do such a thing. He hasn't changed since the edict. <laughs> Still as innocent as always. Still, though, if he gives you any tr trouble, just tell me, okay? I'll handle it. Blair nudges Maze as she rolls her eyes. Honestly, Blair, you baby him too much. Maze continues her conversation with Blair while keeping an eye on Asher. <laughs> they seem to be in bright spirits. Yeah. That's good. Never realized we had a package at our front door. Mm. Must be new then? then? It's a... It's a backpack of some kind. Backpack? Oh? Not used to the letters that we usually get. No. Hmm. Anyways, what's this all about? There's a ton of books in here. Oh? Mm. Oh? Wait a minute. Wait a I know what these are. What are they? These are those... These are the the report books that Cam got when she got kidnapped by... Oh. Nestabon. But... Oh. She's, They're reports? She's sending them to me? Uh, probably copies them? There's there's a... Possibly. I, I have no doubts that this would be the only copies, but there's a lot of names in here. Oh. Wolf, Mir, Toby, Blair, me? That Swan, doesn't surprise Lamia, me. Lamia, Exanimus, Iris, even you, Chris. Oh, really? I'm not in there. Hey, oh, I don't, they haven't I'm, noticed me yet. I, I remember seeing some names in the old bag, but there's a lot more here than I thought. I guess they made her more reports then, I guess. Well, Probably. nevertheless, I mean, we've been we've been given copies. That means that means Blood Oath is trying to keep us informed, so we'll go over these in the meeting. Cool, cool. Okay. Anyways, I saw Cora and Charlotte in them over here. Hey, there they are. Anyways, we'll we'll start with Cora. 
as soon as the you know NPC Aura. dialogue thing comes up. You're in I, I mean, front Charlotte. of Charlotte. I mean Charlotte. <laughs> You're in front of Charlotte. All right, uh, Lilla, you can take this. As you approach Charlotte, she would seem to be in a conversation with Cora and Pepper, as all three of them were helping with the farms. Charlotte would be the first one to notice you walk over. Justin, oh, it's good to see you. Are you feeling okay? I saw you walk back into the keep the other day and you look exhausted. And was that some blood stains I saw on you? Did someone hurt you? Are you hurt? Uh, yeah, that's, I probably shouldn't. I'm, I'm fine, Charlotte. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, okay? God damn it. Are, are you okay? <laughs> It's it's the lag. Okay, I fixed it. All right, go on. She would panic a bit as she inspected you for an Andres, as if she was a mom worried for her kid. You reassure her that you're fine and it was only just a run-in. Thankfully, you took care of them. For now. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I was really worried there. If you ever need anything from us, please do let us know. I really do care about you and the others, and I wouldn't want to see you genuinely hurt. She would then give you a warm hug, to which you accept without hesitation. <sighs> Honestly, I can't, t I can't tell you how much it warms my heart to see them actually just out and about now. Yeah. You are hurt. I'll go over everything in the meeting, okay? Just for okay. now, let's, let's just see what everybody's up to. I don't want anybody to panic. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got this one. As Cora planted the seeds that Pepper had given her, she would glance over at you and give a warm smile. Hey, Justin, how are you today? I'm just doing some planting since we're going to need to harvest some of these crops soon. Charlotte and I have been wanting to try some new recipes that we've been looking at, and if I'm not mistaken, that new fellow over there um, is a fisherman, right? That's actually great news for us since we have another source of food. That is true. That, that, true. Is, I, that is true. I didn't think about I that. I literally only have corn at my place, so. I have so much <laughs> variety. We, Mario's we, insane. We, yeah, we only had wheat and blueberries here at one point, and then these two. Decided no, I mean, stuff. I mean only <laughs> corn. There's only corn at my house. Save. Really? You don't have anything There's else? Only, yeah, it's it's only corn. Mario doesn't allow anything else. <laughs> um, I have so much corn. I mean, from someone who has to be on a meat diet most of the time, I don't exactly eat a lot of corn anymore. Honestly, Fair meat enough. is better than corn. Yeah, I, I, I don't. <laughs> well, that's just what my kind yes. needs to sustain itself. Anyways, but, uh, Pepper. Yeah. All right, I got this one. Hello, Justin. Glad to see you again. Since you've been giving me and my friends some new homes, I've taken it upon myself to help Cora and Charlotte here with farming. Before she, uh, before she continued, Pepper would hand some more seeds to Cora before looking back at you. It's honestly such. It's honestly been such a warm welcome since we got here. Everyone is so nice and respectful. <laughs> honestly. If I would have had a, if I would have known that this place existed first, I would have came here first and not the edict. I guess life always has a, always has its way around. Pepper would smile at you. Goodness gracious, my reading. I should is stop not missing today. things. <laughs> what? What? Nothing. Okay. Ah, you're busy. You're busy. All right. Is that everyone or? Well, Sylv's in the bar at the moment, so... Oh yeah, my favorite bartender. And so is Toby and Bruno. Don't you start singing the song. I'm, I'm really trying. <laughs> I'm really trying. <laughs> Don't you sing the song. Don't you sing it, DMCA. We DMCA. No! <laughs> okay, you only said one word. We're good. I heard... Good. I, no, no, no. Just as I heard weed. <laughs> and... No, no. no. Okay, okay. Anyways, Sylv, 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 how's it going? <laughs> Freaking NPC dialogue, gotcha. come on. Stop lagging! Okay, oh my goodness, I, I hate this. Anyways, Sylv would, uh, Sylv would be seen cleaning some cups as if he'd just gotten done pouring a few glasses for some travelers that you just missed. He greets you as you walk in. 
Well, hello again, fellow peacekeepers. <laughs> Glad to see you all again. Man, you would not believe all the surface I've been getting recently. I just served up a few travelers that needed a boost of energy not too long ago, and they gave me, get this, some platinum coins. Your eyes widen at his statement as he pulls out the coins he receives as proof. You are stunned to see the amount he got from serving. Can you believe that? Platinum, of all things. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm going to get some Endyrian. <laughs> uh, if only that were the case. You know. I mean, I mean, no, Chris. don't, don't you start, don't, 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 don't you start, don't you start, put, put your you'll riches probably away. Give him a, you'll give him a heart attack. Uh, fine. Put your riches away. Goodness gracious. I'll give you some don't, don't you still owe Mir like five platinum? And? <laughs> okay, then, I guess. I'm, don't Anyways. worry, I'll steal some money from Chris later. Anyways, Chris, you got Bruno. Yay. Bruno would be lost in the struggle of his own mind as he began to state an answer to Tobias's question. I wish it were that simple, Toby. Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta start with Toby, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Is there something okay, I'm missing I'll, here? I'll, I'll, I'll do Toby. I'll do Toby. Don't worry. As soon as Toby the dialogue questions. tree comes up. All right, here we go. As you glance over at Tobias, he... See, he seems. It seems to he that. No, hold on. As you glance over to Tobias, it seems that he is to be in a rather interesting conversation with Bruno. So you haven't at all tried to contact your wife after you deserted from the edict. I mean, I don't have a wife or anything, but that's what I would have done if I'd been given the choice. Tobias would take a sip of his drink. All right. Okay, now I have and context. now Bruno's response. And now I have context. All right. Bruno would be lost in the struggle of his, own question, of his own mind as he began to stay in answer to Tobias' question. I wish you were that simple, Toby. I'm afraid my wife doesn't really want to see me anymore, and to be honest, I don't blame her. I think I'm just going to accept those terms and, quite frankly, just move on. Bruno would grip his cup as if he had some grudge now. You could hear him whisper under his breath, I should have never joined the edict. Mm. Fair enough. Gonna walk away. Right, let's, yeah, let's just leave him be. Oh, here, hold on to my drink. All right, let's just leave. Yeah, let's leave him be. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, joining the edict definitely messed up a lot of people's lives. True. I think that's about everybody. Yep. From from the looks of it, that is. Yeah, here I'll check from yeah. above. Yeah, it's everyone. All right, let's go ahead everybody. and head inside. Ah, ah, the only guild hall. You might notice some changes. I've been doing a lot of work recently. I did. I missed this place. Got some more detail going on in here, so. Yeah. Is there a ah! meeting notes in right. the Oh, that's new. Yeah, I went ahead and organized all of our files because, well, it started to get a little messy with just one chest holding everything, so. True. All right, I'm going to go with my normal All seat. right, then. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have to sit close together because there's a lot of information that we're gonna have to unpack here. Normal seat is the table. Okay. And I I'm sure I mean Charlie is always I mean, welcome to not just as bad as Cam's sit up normal. table. Not as bad as Cam's normal seat. My oh, normal me, seat I've, is sitting on the table. Trust me, there's been a lot of people that have sat up there. Cat, Ellie. I've sat ah, up there before. Candy. Ah. What? What? I saw Palti's head. Palti? Wait, you did? What? Where? I saw him come out of the table. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Palti. Palti, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Vacation. That That's new. I never knew you could say that. All right, wait. All right, Palti. I need to teach. All right, I need to teach you the word chillax. No, it's Charlie. Right? No, Charlie. Oh, I thought you were gonna teach him a bad word. Okay, no, he's gonna say chillax. <laughs> chillax in vacation. Wait, Palti. You... Did you say lame or blame? Did you just I call no me idea. lame. Yes. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Chris is lame. Also, okay, okay. Pulte, can you say anything else besides that? Yes. All right, that's that's good. We got some progress going on. That is actually pretty good. That's better than the normal response. All right, then. Well, glad glad for you to join us here. 
Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take our seats. All right. Unless, unless, well, you're just going to sit on the table. This has always been where I sat. Last I meeting, too. Okay, this is where I just normally go. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Feels you're wrong not, you're, to you're not, not be on the table. <laughs> Wait a minute. I am squirrel. You're on, on my end, you're not. <laughs> oh, one moment. I'm going to. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mother, he's I'll just, I'll it's just... okay, Charlie. It'll be fine. It's just a ghost. Nothing to be scared of. Okay, is that right, better? So, yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay. Anyways, uh, looks like Kat's still recovering from their Etheria experience. Ellie's probably busy with Vanguard. Arky's... I mean, not Arky, Fern. <laughs> Never mind, he said that. Fern is probably just out there somewhere. I haven't seen them in a while, but oh, that's fine. Sin somewhere. I think Sin is still trying to recover from the fight that we had with yeah. Blair and Toby. Yeah. He did seem pretty dazed, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, and then, well, I'll just go ahead and write the meeting notes and then send them to them. Anyways, the first thing on our agenda is the discussion and explanation for something known as the turning of April. All right, so I'm going to have to tell you guys some stuff that you probably weren't informed about. All right. But um, if you haven't noticed already, Rex and the others have returned from the uh, from Aetheria. Nope. And, well, sorry. they've returned. Now you know. Yeah, sorry. I don't really know any of them, like, at all. Well, there's some of our vessel friends and allies over in Vanguard. I'm not sure if you've been to Vanguard. Nope. I've been practically nowhere. It's actually kind of depressing, not gonna lie. I've never met Rex or any of them. Well, all you need to know is that... All you need to know is that they're part of a guild known as... Blood Oath. Blood Oath, and, well, they're our allies at the moment. Like, it's fighting the Edict. So, a while back, they left to go to Aetheria to attend to some... some mission or something, and they were gone for quite a while, and, well, they're finally back. They've been back for a bit, but as soon as they got back, the edict activity started spiking again, as if they knew they were coming back at the same time and they had this all planned out. Mm. We we recently infiltrated one of their dungeons, which can't believe I'm about to say it. Some giant fucking robot. Oh. Giant fucking robot? Oh. Elaborate. Yeah. All right, well... How do I explain it? It's... We thought it was just a regular dungeon, and, well, it started to move. And this giant window we saw... We just saw nothing but land. Land and sea, and... It looked like we were up in the air, like, thousands upon thousands of feet. Oh. My. Huh. Okay. So, like, Baba Yaga's house? I wouldn't say that, but it it felt like we were in some giant golem structure. But how we ended up there was we we all I don't know. It all started with Hannah was her name. She's from Florencia. That's a it's a hunter's town and well she told me about some strange reports that were coming from Florencia and then it turns out that the library also got this message, and so did Blood Oath from their spies, or whatever they're called. And, well, we all converged together, and turns out that those messages led to the Chimera. Now, Chris, you might know what the Chimera is. I've heard of it. Well, the Chimera is one of Cain's amalgamations, and, well, it's quite frankly unkillable. And, well, it somehow got out of Blood Oath's possession, and it started rampaging through I the desert. It got out? Yeah, well, we managed to trap it for some time, and then we got some help from Florence and Vanguard, and our plan was to trap it in the Crimson Dimension, but unfortunately, things got a little out of hand. Unfortunately, while the other group was dealing with the Chimera... Me, Swan, and Rex had to deal with Jester. Yes, that Dad, Jester. J they're still... Um... 
Lovely. All you need to all you need to know is Jester is Jester's the embodiment of evil. If there was one thing you should be scared about besides Rowan, it's Jester. Yeah. And well Okay, good to know. We have I no choice but to try to fight Jester off, and well, it seemed like we had actually killed them somehow, but it's just almost as if they grew stronger. And they they had this scythe for a hand and and then a bunch of crimson crimson soldiers started attacking us and we all deserted out of the crimson dimension with Florence and it was all just weird. From there we wanted to get answers so we started going around and asking a bunch of our allies who were a part of the edict what this meant, what it all meant because we heard about something called the turning of April which according to the edict's words was some sort of cataclysmic event that they were planning. And so obviously we wanted to get to get to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. The first person we asked was Vinculum, which, yes, is the ritualist of Vinculum, which apparently is our ally, but mm -hmm. not entirely sure if I trust them a lot, considering the fact that their nickname, War Dog, caused Ellie to panic, as if they knew who they were. They had a history of something, so I'm not entirely sure about War Dog, but they told us to go they told us to go talk to Ellie and Ella, which was Permutatio. I think it was Permutatio. Probably. Well they Well they wouldn't they wouldn't say a damn word, they just laughed in our faces. We asked them about the turning of April and well that's all they did, they just laughed. Mm-hmm. So we, had, we, we, we had to find answers out somehow. So eventually, after going back and forth, we, we ended up finding this dungeon of some kind, and it was full of liquid death, and there was a lot of other things in it, and yeah. the way we got there was through Census, a.k.a. Milo. Yeah, so, yeah. And unfortunately, we lost them. They're now in the hands of Cain. Oh, no. It was a mistake to let them go off on their own, but Swan and Rex were fighting again and tried to break it up, but man, there was just nothing I could do. I had to let it happen, and well, we lost a huge asset because of that. But now's not the time to play the blame game on anyone, because what we saw next was... What we experienced next was... What happened? I didn't... I didn't think that it would happen again. I I thought I did I thought I did my very best. I thought I did my very best to keep it maintained, but I was just mm. Kane locked us in a room. Specifically the barracks that were a part of that dungeon and well me, Cam uh and Lily and I think Marshy, my mom, my memory's fuzzy. We all got trapped in this room or something, and we started to pump flux in the air, and well, and it wasn't gonna really spell good for anybody. You see, I'm a Petri, and I'm I'm a form of dread. So when I get overexposed to flux, it it makes me uncontrollable. It makes me hostile and more hungry yeah. well while cam was suffocating i i snapped and i i don't know how i got out there i can't i don't know how we got out of that but like i next thing you know i just woke up and there was blood on me there was blood everywhere ritualists in my hand and limbs in the other and Lily and all of them were gasping for air. They had just crawled out with Rex, who had passed out. He did some mind trick to Kane or something. And I was, and all I could think was I just needed to help him. So I tried crawling towards him, but I, I couldn't. I was so weak. And that's, and that's when he woke up, and he was, he was panicked as if, as if he just saw a demon or something. He, he was talking about his mouth like as if it was hurting or. I don't know what he saw, but he did some sort of mind trick to Kane. I don't. 
I don't want to. I don't want to ask him what he saw, but he saw something. Mm-hmm. But I've never seen him cry. He. But, he yeah. Cried. He cried. The most fearless man I've ever known in my life <laughs> actually was shedding tears. Again, this is why I'm saying I don't know what he saw, but it's almost as if he was in Kane's footsteps or something. I have no idea. I don't know how any of this works, but that motivated us enough to just figure out what's going on and take him down because that's mm-hmm. all I felt. I, I just felt like killing that son of a bitch. And did you? No. We We couldn't. Because he had a little little help from our old friend Alienus. Oh, lovely. You know, you know Alienus? That one, that one fuckhead who destroyed this place and tried to take it for their own, but just ditched? Yeah. And the person with the giant portal above it? Yeah. That Alienus. I wasn't sure who it was actually. I, I need to read logs more. We ended yeah. up we ended up in whatever whatever place we were in. It seemed like it seemed like the fitting place for a boss room, and Kane had taken our friend Haven hostage, and they did something to them. But Alienus and Alienus and them were attacking us from all sides. So me and Rex, while everyone was trying to scramble to figure out how to shut down what was ever going on, we took on Alienus and. Surprisingly, me and him actually stood a chance. We actually managed to hit them somehow. But how I understand that, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But they seemed pretty upset with the fact that we could. So did Kane. Eventually, we got to a point where it seemed like everything was going to be lost. Kane had made our friend soulless, which is a very dangerous thing. It makes you really powerful. And well... It seemed like that was going to be the end. We, we couldn't take down something of that greater power, but... I guess there really is a god out there, because... We got some help from an unlikely ally. Yeah. You remember Flux? Yeah, oh. I do. Yeah, let's just say he wasn't too fond of their presence either. Well, he helped us out. Yeah, I remember Flux. Makes me after, comfortable. After that... He took us and he threw us out the main window. Well, we all woke up on the shore and... Funny enough, it started raining. But we just brushed that off. From there, we kind of just went our separate ways. Well, it's been raining for days, so... Weeks, probably. Weeks, really. Yeah, it's been raining for a long time. Yeah. Like, it hasn't stopped. But I guess... I guess we can officially say that we stopped whatever the turning of April was. But, God, we lost a lot out of that, and I only have so many more questions than I do with answers. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, since the edict activity has been spiking recently, we'll go ahead and talk about that next. All right. Um, Edict activity has obviously been sparking, and, well, we got a list of specific targets that we definitely need to go after. Such as? First and foremost, we need to deal with Kane. Obviously. Kane is such a huge problem. The more he stays around, the more I feel like I'm going to rip my own head off. And I feel like that's just what he wants. Yeah, true. But we could have had him. Every chance we get, we always pass it up. Alienist needs to go as well. Yeah. Jester. I don't know how the fuck we're going to fight Jester. Damn thing is near immortal. I can't even call him a man now. No. So yeah, there's those three. Anyone else? Those three are definitely a pain in the ass. Census is gone. There's a lot of other ritualists we still don't know anything about. Like, if I get my list out... Rowan, the real Ignis, Kane, Jellum, Lux, Metallum, Vacios, Victus, Bestia, 
Precantatio, Spiritus. So many names on here. I don't even know why I, I checked marked this off. I don't even know if we took down that fucking machine. But that machine was also Machina. It was? You wouldn't expect a giant fucking robot to be a ritualist, but there you go, I guess. Ah, oh, lovely. I thought I thought that Lamia person was Ignis. That's why there's a real Appar Ignis. Apparently not. Oh, that's we nice. We don't even know anything about them, but... Actually, wait a minute. You know what? There's a book in here about them. There is? Actually, I, I, guess, I guess this would be a more perfect time to actually go over these reports, because I haven't even glanced at these. I've just seen them from afar. Yeah. So I guess we'll start with Wolf. Man, am I glad there's not one about me. Yeah. All right, we'll start with Wolf. Jesus Christ, this stuff is grainy. The book appears to be an excerpt from a far longer report. You don't find much sub uh, substance besides some basic information and st statistics. My bad. February 2021. The Supreme Ritualist of Perdicio, Jack Wolf Clarkson, defected from the Alacrum Edict and took the side of the vessels. Jack Wolf Clarkson? That's his name? I, I mean... I guess so. But it's true, I mean, lots of people go by middle names. I mean, I don't. I mean, I mean, I knew it was an alias, but I, I thought I was going to find it out through him, but I guess this will do. Combat. Wolf is incredibly trained in combat and assassination. However, once you learn his patterns, you can predict his movements. He will always strike from behind first. In an extended close range fight, he will always lose. Oh no. Well, that's not terrifying that they know that at all, you know? Well, I think the only I think the only other person that has managed to take him down is from what I know is myself. But that was just that was just a test fight. Yeah. And well, all of these notes are very much right. That's, that's exactly what he did and I predicted his movements. Yeah, that is how he fought. Oh man, that's very concerning. I hope he un I hope he finds out that they know this, but I wouldn't anyways. doubt that you know. Anyways, Mir. The book appears to be an excerpt from a far longer report. You don't find much substance besides the basic information in statistics. February twenty twenty one. The Supreme Ritualist of Vidium, Mir Pierce, has been compromised. On the orders of our Supreme Leader, he's to be killed on sight. Combat. Mira is unstable and lacks control over his gift. Close range combat will lead to a taint episode, which will eradicate individuals standing with a couple within a couple feet of him. Ranged attacks are more likely to succeed in eliminating him. Jeez. Yeah. Anyways. Looks like we got some reports about Blair and Toby. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm right. sure it says kill on site too. Yeah, it says the stuff is just like Wolf and Mirrors. It's it seems to be torn out or something from a much larger report. Anyways, Fabrico. The greater ritualist of Fabrico, on the orders of the Supreme Leader, was eliminated and is now presumed dead. Should there be any sightings should there be any sightings, our orders is to kill on site. Fabrico is compromised and no longer necessary. Well, I guess our little plan worked. I actually think they're dead. That is good. They do think they're dead. Yes. Alchemia. The greater ritualist of Alchemia on the orders of the Supreme Leader was eliminated and is now presumed dead. Should there be any sightings, our order is to kill on sight. Alchemia is compromised and no longer necessary. I'm going to have to tell Blair and Toby that our plan worked. As, yep. far, as, we're no, as far as we're concerned, they're presumed dead. Yeah. Which I guess I guess we can say is a good thing because well as long as they think they're dead and we know they're alive, we'll be able to use them to our advantage. Exactly. Not in that way. Uh, not in an evil sure. way. I mean, Obviously. yeah, no, if we figured. No, it is never. a good strategy for them to think they're dead, so 
Oh no, they want to. They want revenge. I'm aware. And I and I don't blame them. Imagine being lied to your whole entire life, thinking that you were cared about. Yeah, that's what they had to go through. Yeah, I don't remember. So yeah. You. Yeah, I remember. So, yeah. Speaking of which, I need to talk to them later. Anyways, moving on. This is my own report. Notes. Justice, referred to as Justin, age unknown. The leader of the Peacekeepers. Justice has been identified as a Petrian after the events of the Battle of Atiran. Petrians are known for their intense hunger in high stress or high flux environments. Approach with caution. Threvelet has increased to an eight. Well, that makes sense. You did kind of murder a bunch of people yeah. on accident. At least they fucking know what they're up against. True. That is completely fair. Anyways, moving on. Meadow. Notes. Dame Meadow, age unknown. A non-flux-formed dread that has recently formed an allegiance known as Meridian. Despite her timid appearance, she's been identified as the vessel behind the fall of the greater ritualist Urba. Threat level has increased to a seven. I Urba, guess. I hope you're rotting in hell. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe. Anyways, Dan. Age unknown. The vessel recently arrived in this world and has taken to allying with himself with Meadow, becoming a member of Meridian. Despite this allegiance, however, Dan's abilities at the moment are unknown and their behavior has been cataloged as being rather passive. Threat level remains at a three. Hmm. Weird that I don't have a book that Dan does. I guess I really haven't had that many run-ins with the edict. <laughs> Let's yeah. hope you don't. They're really Fair fucking enough. vicious. <laughs> I'm very aware. The only times I've really gone to something under the edict was the camp, and, that the camp snuck in. and then the sneak in. Sneak in, they didn't really catch me, or any of us for that matter, and the camp kind of has no witnesses to report, so. <laughs> I guess so. Anyways, Chris, it's your report now. All right, let's go. Name Chris, age unknown. A member of the guild Peacekeepers located in Soteria's Keep. Well, there goes our secrecy. Look, uh, he was last seen participating in the battles against Fabrico and Alchemia. How the fuck do they that. know that? I've done more than that. Chris, Wait, how do they- how did it- no, no, how do they- how, No, hold on. Before I keep reading, how do they know? Um, I thought we killed them all. Maybe it's because of the time we were in Winterhelm. Maybe Fabricone or Kimi reported it. But that doesn't make sense no, because I was there we too. Didn't, we didn't battle them at Winterhelm. Yeah, then we... I don't know. Someone must have slipped away and thought that they were dead. Whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. As long what? as they don't know- as long as they don't know that they're alive. Yeah, fair. I want to keep fair. them very much a secret. Because if they find out they're alive, they're as good as dead. This place will get attacked no matter what. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Anyways. No notable observations have been made at this time. Hmm. Threat level remains at a four. A four? A four. Are you at, wait, let me see that. Are you, are you misreading I'm, that? Chris, One moment. Just calm down. No, no, no I'm, it, I'm it's not. definitely... I'm not actually joking. That's exactly what it says. Oh, okay, one moment. Wait, 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 wait. If this will allow, open. Okay. Oh. Please don't tear that up. We actually I are going to need I those. Won't. I won't. Here, ha have the have that. Okay. It's, okay. it's okay. It's all are right. You, are you? It's okay. Are you mad that you're not a higher threat level? Yes. Okay. I have. I have killed an entire edict camp by myself. Was at the Vanguard siege and fought Fabrico and Akimia, <laughs> and I'm a fucking four. Shut up, Charlie. You're not making this better. It's okay, Chris. Just calm down. It's deep honestly, breaths. The, honestly, the fact that they consider you a threat to begin with is already enough, don't you think? Yeah, but a four. Chris, 
I guess. I don't know. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Since you have a low threat level and I don't have a threat level yet, think about it. They won't they won't think we're that there's, strong and then we can bounce on them and attack. There's a lot of other names in here, but it's okay. A lot of vessel names are missing. I don't see a report for Rex, Cam, Lily. I it's just only a few names that I know. Alright. That's you know, all right, I'm fine. If you're really adamant on being a higher threat level to them, next time we find some camps or a ritualist, make sure you blow some stuff up. <laughs> I definitely will. All right. Well, I exploded things message. last time. I remember that. That was fun. Yeah, I remember exploding right. front of the yeah, camp. Can, all right, let's go for the rest. All right, then, anyways, with that aside, Mario. Mario. I cannot wait to hear this. I hope oh, he's at Mario. least lower than me. Alrighty then, I guess the edict knows about. I mean, at this point, who don't they fucking know about? I don't think they know where he lives, though. If he does, I'm screwed. If they do, I'm screwed. <laughs> right, let's see. This. Well, they certain. Well, anyways, name Mario, age unknown, an ally of the Library of the Lions, or the Lion. Mario has often been overheard speaking highly of magic and thumbcraft, despite Swan Sorceress's technological disposition. His knowledge is something to be wary of, but his capabilities are still limited. His threat level remains at a five. What? Okay. A five. Okay. Are you jealous? Jealous. <laughs> I, I am. I'm just... <laughs> Holty, that's not helping. Okay, why am I lagging back and forth? And Oh, I'm stuck in the chair. Okay. I'm just saying, I mean, I think I've done more than Mario, so this is a little... Why is it keep... Well, it's... I don't... I don't exactly know... I haven't really talked to Mario, have I? I'm, I'm just... Mario's cool. What's he like? Uh, oh, um, Mario... He... Shut up, Chris. I know more about him than you. Um... Mario's actually really nice. He can be a smartass, yes, but he does really seek knowledge and loves helping people. Kind of reminds me of somebody I've known once, but eh. He's kind of like, hmm. hmm. You know, one of those like uncles, that... Okay. Okay. I get. I, I get the idea. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. We got a lot. We got a lot more reports to yeah, go let's, into. Yeah. Let's go through the rest. All right. Cognitio. <laughs> Cognitio's current whereabouts, due to request, uh, due to request, shall remain a secret for the time being, as they continue their search for the perfect mind. Current objection. Or objective, infiltration. Alrighty then, that's okay. Okay. really fucking concerning. That is, I'd say. No, yeah. I'm gonna oh. hope to God that oh, it's fuck. none of uh. Why is it? I I, 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 I certainly. I heard. Just just stand. It's fine. Just stand. Yeah. Okay. I certainly fucking hope it's not one of the one of the Soteri's keep members. I certainly I hope, hope it's literally nobody. Okay. I don't like that. <sighs> Alrighty then. Well, I, I I guess that's a thing. Anyways, I'm just gonna ignore that message in chat from Kanandi. All right, um, Jellum, ah, this motherfucker. Uh. I wish I could tear them apart, but anyways, Jellum's current mission has placed him closer to vessel operations as he attempts to perfect his performance and crush the hope of the vessels. Current objection or objective, I mean. Completing his performance. <laughs> performance? What the fuck does he think this is? I mean... You know what? That does kind of fit the description I heard from Sin. I mean... No, no, you're exactly right about that. I don't think I've told you guys this, but I killed Jellum's loyalist. Nice. And while they were going on about... Jellum's performance or whatever bullshit it is. Uh, we couldn't get any information out of them, so I just killed them. No Fair mercy. Enough. 
Anyways, sorry. Anyways, IRS. Status alive, whereabouts unknown. Notice, Iris and her activities are none of your concern. Her orders come directly from the Supreme Leader and cannot be ignored. If you find Iris acting out of line from the Edict's goals, please inform the other Supreme Ritualists immediately. I've never really talked with Iris. I'm not entirely sure I know much about them. Yeah. Sorry, guys, if any, if, like, I don't, like, move or anything, or if I, like, yelp, there is a cat on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine, that's fine, then. Oh, no, it, it's just, it's, Rex is, is just, like, on my lap, just laying there. Again, Ironically, fine, during a mytho stream. Yeah, it's fine, don't worry, don't worry. True, yeah. It's all good, it's all good here. Oh, snap, my, my game minimized. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to try and move it again to see if it lags me back again. Okay, I'm good. Anyways, uh, next up is Exanimus. This is E. This is the one who now owns New Aetirin. Updates. Exanimus remains in New Aetirin, despite multiple orders to withdraw. Unfortunately, it seems she has deviated from the Prime Directive. New Aetirian is not to be targeted at this time, but order of the Supreme Leader, by order of the Supreme Leader, their weakness is their own insanity, and they will soon enough destroy one another. However, should Exanimus leave New Aetirian and be found by the Edic forces, your mission is to eliminate her. I didn't realize oh. they were deserted. Huh. That's, that's oddly strange. They... <laughs> They're really, I don't know, they're just crazy, I'd say. I think that, yeah, that was the whole book mentioning that, yeah. Anyways, Bestia. Bestia's current mission makes their current whereabouts unknown. If they appear before you with a report, contact a Supreme Ritualist immediately. Current objective, gathering information. Alrighty oh. then, I guess, I guess we need to keep an eye on out on someone who's apparently related to the essentia so i do remember that um i do remember <coughs> during when we were getting scouts for the vanguard siege that rex was for some reason kept looking at a bird and then made jokes about bestia and shit so well and that's just what bestia I remember. is bestia is the essentia for animals and wildlife from what i remember Mm -hmm. this is that is that it, it is. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be too far to think that, but yeah. For now, we can't really confirm Rex, that. I don't know if he was actually being serious about that or not. Anyway, Swan. Notes: Name Swan, age unknown. Identified as the new leader of the Library of the Lions, Swan has proven to be a valuable piece of technology in most in multiple ways. Her oh. inner machinations make her highly useful scrap metal, yet her defenses remain unbreakable. Additionally, her efforts against Lux have proved to be a handful. Threat level has increased to a 7. Yeah, fair. What? Uh... I don't know. What, what do you mean? God, never mind. I'll, I'll ask questions later, I guess. Uh, Lamia, Andrea, and Danny. I haven't talked to Danny in a long time. I have not seen I'm Danny in Andrea forever. I, I mean, I'm shocked that you have one, too. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that I don't have one if they know what happened at that, at that siege. Anyways, Lamia, who was the original Ignis, from what it seemed like. The Supreme Ritualist of Ignis, Lamia Naga is compromised. Her failure to handle the vessels within the nether has caused her to be captured. If found, the orders are to kill on sight. Combat. Lamia's combat capabilities are far and few in between. Her technology has its own strengths and weaknesses, but she herself is nothing. If you catch her without her technology, her demise is imminent. I don't think she'll go down without a fight, knowing her. Very feisty, I must say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, 
I'm sure you'll get to meet her. She's actually really smart, but really, well, I don't know. You'll I see think, eventually. Yeah. Anyways, Andrea, age unknown, a member of the Library of the Lions. Andrea has been identified as a vessel recently after some interesting events in Liondale. However, their capabilities are still unknown and more study is required. Threat level remains <gasps> at a four. That makes sense. So they're kind of like you in a way, I guess. They just, just don't know anything it. about you. Yeah, I'll I just sure completely... Yeah, I just completely thought about it. Uh, they might not know I'm a vessel, guys. They've never seen me die. You make a fair true. point. True. They've never that seen me true. die. Like, ever. So, I mean, they probably just think I'm an NPC that came out of the abyss. <laughs> That's what Anyways. they seem to do! Come on! Anyways, Danny. Age unknown. A member of the Library of the Lions. We can also confirm that multiple times Danny has been referred to as Swan's son, in quotations. However, their familial bonds are still in question. Danny's capabilities, as reported by Iris, are formidable in regards to his sheer determination, and he has assisted in the library, like, assisted the library in battle. Threat level remains at a five. What does that mean? Don't know. What? Uh, these are reports from Iris. Oh. Yeah. If I ever if I ever see him, I'll ask him what that's all about. Okay. Anyways, we got three more books in here. We got we got Lux, Tenebrae, and Ignis. Can't I guess we're gonna go and Ignis. start with. Let's go ahead and start with that one. I guess. All right. Let's see. The supreme ritualist of Ignis's orders come from the supreme leader only. You have no need to understand more than that. Well, that's about as much as we were going to fucking get out. Should have expected that. Huh. Yeah. <sighs> I guess we can't get our hopes too up. Tenebrae. I've heard about Tenebrae. September 2021. Tenebrae has been compromised. The Supreme, uh, the Supreme Leader has asked that we make no efforts in freeing them after their most recent failure. Note... It may be noted that after careful observation by Victus from a distance, the author Finn Holloway is incapable of being voidly influenced for the time being. Finn Holloway? Is not the Who? author guy? What? Yeah. Who's he that? wrote the Journey to Hell books. Yeah. They were trying to influence him? Am I being stupid? Cam told me about some sort of thing that Rex had to go through where they stopped this huge 10-year plan that Tenebrae was going to do something to East Haven. And I guess Finn was a part of that somehow? I mean, if Finn's as big of a, like, raider as you say he is, he might have influence that they would have been interested in exploiting. Maybe. Well, it seems that they were trying to do something with him from this report, but I guess he's unable to be influenced well, that's a good thing that well, could be a good thing. that could be very very useful yeah anyways in the best way possible yeah. yeah anyways last and certainly not least is lux uh, i've heard a little bit of i've heard a little bit about lux from swan but i don't know anything much it can make people float apparently. lux's current mission has placed them in proximity with the library as they continue their attempts to execute swan sorceress in the library of the lions current objective enacting judgment what the fuck is up with these cryptic words jeez hmm. no yeah. idea I guess that's about it cryptic, depending on who they're given to so that's about it i mean, I mean cam did find it code. cam did find this in a random edict outpost so i guess they would be vague if we ever wanted to find out anything more we'd have to infiltrate a high level base and the only yeah, one that I... I can think of that we know that exists somewhere is the Alacrim Fortress. And, and we well, are not going there anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Especially not by ourselves. Of course. Yeah, that's, no, that's... There'd, there'd have to be a giant, like, vessel slash maybe NPC mission there. Jeez. I could not imagine going by myself. <sighs> you wouldn't want to go by yourself. Yeah, from I know. My point. From what, from what Rowan told us, 
It sounded like he was waiting. I love that guy, not really. Fucking hate I've him. heard about what? Thanks, Palty. After every after everything. Everything that they did to Toby and Blair. After what oh, they yeah. did to all these other ritualists, after what they did to Wolf, to Mir, to all of those innocent people that we had to bury. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too fond of them either. No. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Uh, what the fuck? Maybe a little. That sounded like you were howling. Well, I accept it either way. <laughs> Anyways, next up on the meeting, besides edict activity, is plans for fortification and security measures on the keep. All right. So obviously, we've had trouble with people trying to siege the keep, and well, we haven't really had the best protection for that. Mm -hmm. Alienus was able to yeah. walk right in and do whatever they wanted. Mm -hmm. oh, we, yeah. only we only received help when Mir and Candy showed up, so I think it's time we start building fortifications. Not just the wall, but we need we need people on the walls. We need something to keep people out that are trying to siege the barrier. Yeah. We've already got our gate fixed. We already got the walls fortified even stronger than before. Because, man, those fucking voidal amalgamations tore through that shit like butter. They did. And they were hard to fucking kill. They were tanks. But now, But now begs the question, I don't want these NPCs that are living here. I don't want them to just keep going up there and keep guard because if they if they die, that's it for them. And yeah, it's kind I don't of know about I don't know about you guys, but I've grown quite fond of them. So. I'd prefer not to have any of the NPCs die because that's the whole point of us. Of, of, of yeah. yeah, no, never mind. They're very they're very much innocent and well. In terms of security measures. I think I know the right kind of person to go to about it. And I'll be speaking to him after this meeting. Alright. Hey. So when it comes to fortification and security measures, I think we already got that checked out. Yep. Also, the new residents. Obviously, Lily over there, you haven't known the new residents. I yeah. kind of already basically told you who they were, but there's Asher, Aster, Bruno, Maze, and... Pepper. They're edict deserters. Yeah, I figured since they were, you know, talking about the edict out there. God, I I feel really, really bad for them, actually. Like, terrible. But, like, yeah. I know they wouldn't want me to say that to their face because that'd just be disrespectful. Well, uh -huh. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Yeah. Just so everybody knows who they are. Of course. You know that, Pulte? We'll take that as a yes. Can't tell Maybe. if you're talking. Oh, okay. Well, well, while they're while they're trying to process that, yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it for this meeting. So, as soon as I can get out of this chair, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess we can consider this meeting adjourned. Lovely. All right. Great. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back over here. We'll keep that archived. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you two can, well, go off Talk. and do whatever you need to do. Yeah. yeah. Pulte, Pulte, you can, Pulte, you can stick around with me. I'm sure Toby and Blair wouldn't mind. Say hi for me. <laughs> we'll do. Same here. Bye, number four. What? Okay, we're just going to ignore the fact that he called you number four because of your threat level. <laughs> oh, come on, Chris. I'm... Jeez, that. Bye, rain. Justice! Bye. Bye. I mean, just wait. I can't leave. You have. Come along, Chris. All Let's right. go. Leave them to their whatever they're doing. Yeah, something. 
I'm pretty sure they're. What the? Oh. 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 That was we a... got the game but... fixed, remember? I No, I know. It was a visual glitch on my side. Yep. I don't think we need the Ghostbusters, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no, that, now that I'm out of the keep. What? What are you doing? Shooting flux bolts into the air. I guess we're heading to the town, I assume. I don't know if Mario will be there, but sure. We can I have, mean, we can head there anyways. Hey, did, 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 did you get it? Did you? Yeah, I got it. All right. <sighs> Lovely meeting, it right? Was. It really was, yeah. Great fucking meeting. I have a feeling something's wrong. I, I can literally feel <sighs> some of the heat radiating right from here. That's a weird way to put it. I can feel the heat radiation from your tail. What? My tail doesn't radiate heat. Either way, I can, like, I, like when I get close it to shouldn't. it, I feel it. When I get close to I mean, it, I, I feel it being hot. That doesn't make sense. It does to me. You going crazy from your, like, feel your tail. I don't know, warp? Feel your tail. Ah, I'm not feeling my tail. That's weird. Feel it and you will see my point. Feeling my tail would be weird, Chris. Well, then I have no idea how else that I'm going to prove to you that your tail is hot currently. <sighs> oh, shit. Lag, lag, lag. Plus, lag. Also, I mean, hot tail on raining water kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't feel nice. It really doesn't, no. So what no, are you I don't. About? Nothing. I'm fine. Lily. What? No, just here. Okay. Just tell me what's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Hmm. Sure. I will. Is this the way of the town again? Uh, yeah. We'll just go through on car and shit. Is there a large cluster of. What do you mean? Do you not see those? Cluster of. The fuck? Those. Up I'm there. Gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm Alright. I'm just gonna ignore that. See, if anyone's going to be angry, I occur personally, but I'm very still angry. I'm just... <sighs> Don't be that angry. Well, I'm sorry. I have been here for so fucking long. I have killed an entire camp of edict by my fucking self. I have... I was there to sabotage Vanguard during the siege, and I also was with Fabrico and Akimia during the fight. And somehow, I was also there when the keep was attacked by alienists. But no, I'm a threat to the four. <sighs> and Mario is a five, even though he was stuck in a cell for half the fucking time during the siege. Uh, yeah, I just, don't know at this point. Just because he's so knowledgeable. I think they're calling you stupid. Yeah. Yeah, my feet are getting... Yeah, and I know they are. Better. And I'm going to show them how stupid they really think I am. Because when I have a chance, I am going to do so much more than kill the people at their bases. Comet. Why should Listen. I... As much as I really do care, Chris... You have to keep in mind that, you know, it's the edict we're talking about. They don't really give a damn about all that stuff. And sometimes they don't have stuff even archived. Like, I mean, thinking about it, the person who got away from the 
fight at Fabrico and Alchemia's probably didn't even see you. Then bear they definitely didn't see me. I'm just glad I'm under the radar. Cause if you are lower in their eyes, or if you're not a threat at all to them, then that's a better thing. Cause then you could just, you know, sneak up, element of surprise. It's better than being a target. Listen, if, look, if we had high enough threat levels, they'd try and kill us on sight. Oh, yeah. Again and again. Where are you? I want, wait, am I going? I'm um, heading towards, uh, I'm going through, I'm, I'm going to a diff, I'm going through a different route. I'm kind of like going just in a straight line. Where are you actually? They're definitely not near me. Um, which did you go through? Did you actually go through the path of Ankar? No. Then which way did you go? Yeah, oh, no. I'm going through. Fuck. Ankar. No. Nope. 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 Game. Shut. Stop freezing. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what you want though. Do you want to have the element of surprise, or do you want to be seen as super duper powerful? Because I personally prefer the element of surprise. See, well, the element of surprise is good. It also really sucks that I have been here for so long, and I still do not get the, like, the, like, what I feel like I should What do like you I bloody want? This. Recognition? Yes. Recognition for... Why do you want recognition? Tell me, please. Enlighten me. Because I'm tired of feeling like I'm useless and just a second hand to someone else's shit. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. You know, come, come here. Come, I'm Hi. right behind you. Oh, there you are. Right. Hi. Yeah, what? Right basically am a second hand are you kidding me everyone sees me as a footnote have you noticed yet or are you just fucking blind i don't see you as a footnote well most everyone else does i haven't talked to my best friend in weeks i'd love to keep in contact but every time i try i think i'll just be useless again I share that feeling. I don't... You have a fair point there. Look. You're not useless. You're definitely far more useful than I am. At least in other no, aspects. That's just a I'm, blank lie. I'm definitely more useful in combat, but when it comes to actually you know, actually helping and caring for people, I'm not that great in it anymore. You are more pure than, you're more pure of heart than I ever am now. Damn, I wish. You are. Cause look, you are getting you're getting stronger by not doing what I did. I fucking went crazy to get better and become more useful because I have a craving for validation and recognition that I still don't have. So the things I did to myself literally went nowhere. I made Swan fucking hate me for a time being from what I did. I lost a friend that I had because I have a craving for validation and I still don't have it. I don't even think fucking right. Justin sees me as good anymore. Now that's a damn lie. Because cause I, I don't know why. I still always remember that one time 
where I told Justin that I killed an entire EU camp by myself. I didn't get any praise for it. Nothing. But Kaffi got a new recruit for the Vanguard Siege, and she got told that he was proud of her. So ever since, I've just been trying and trying. And then the, and now the Edict have just knocked me down a peg by thinking and saying that I'm stupid and not even better than Mario. Not even on the same level. I'm not even noteworthy. Well, that's just because you haven't gotten any reports yet. You haven't done, you haven't been here for as long and you haven't fought them as much. Yeah? Yeah? Then tell me, how the fuck does Dan have a report? I... Dan was there for my wave. Do you think it makes me feel any better? Do you think it makes me feel any better that I feel like a second-hand fiddle to Mario? I, I'm friends with Mario, and I really damn care for him. He, he's my friend. He's, he's my friend. You're my friend. I, I feel useless. I feel fucking resented and useless. I don't know how to do anything, and at this point, I don't have anybody who really fucking cares. Do you know what the hell rings I've been through to fucking take care of everybody? I'd love to be able to do as much as you can, because I can't. I'm such a fucking wimp that I can't. I can't do anything. I can't. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I, I can't do anything. I'm just a short little annoying you're squirrel. No, you're not. You're not a secondhand fiddle. You are you, and you are much better, and you do not need to be a, and you're not a second fiddle to anyone. Okay? You are strong. You're powerful and you're useful. And you're a peacekeeper. And we do whatever it takes to bring peace. You are your own person. You're not a secondhand fiddle to anyone. You're better than you think you are. And screw everyone who does not think that. Okay? And Whatever you it may, takes. And you may be an annoying squirrel, but you are my best friend. And I don't mind the annoyingness. It brings me some joy. But my G, you have to stop hitting me. <laughs> Not a chance, emo. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop flex bolting you. Like how you will. <laughs> we'll see. You know, I've just been doing that to try and make your reaction time better. You know. My reaction time's fine. Yeah, you 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 jump out of the way most of the time. Yeah. That means you're getting better. And look, you have a Thaumium Gauntlet now. Mm -hmm. I never even got one of those. Yeah, that's because you have one of those weird void ones. Well, yeah, but I didn't make it. <laughs> well, I think even though you didn't, you're pretty talented. You're talented too, and you're definitely more pure than I am. Never go into the void, Lily. <laughs> Pureness means shit. You're great. <laughs> so are you. Hmm. How, how about you say we get home and get out of the rain, alright? Yeah. Cause I, My tail's soaking. Yeah, and also I can see a little bit of steam coming off of it, but also with the, the madness is uh -huh. also kind of leaving you, so... <sighs> 
thanks for the follow, by the way. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Let's get home, angry heating pad. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Makes me feel so great that I'm a heating pad. <laughs> what? Some part of you going to make me angry and... <sighs> no, I would never do that. Again. I would never. that's a good point to end off today's stream <laughs> probably but i have to make it back to my room oh <laughs> uh, yeah fair all right do you want to do the rest of the trip out of canon uh i mean the trip is like right now so you oh, know i'm good house. okay yeah all right resume in canon then ah lovely lovely town here we are do i have my key <sighs> yeah i do Good. Stop breaking through our walls. I haven't done that in forever. That's been mint. Mostly. At this point, you're the squirrel. How am I the squirrel? Did you come in? You go area? into the walls. I. I'm in my room. Okay. All right then. Uh, have a good sleep, I guess, and see you in the morning. I'm gonna sleep in Mario's bed. But... All right. Good night. Night. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna sleep in Mario's bed. Where is it? Here we go. Alright, Mario, your bed is mine. <laughs> your bed smells terrible. Alright, I'm going somewhere else. I'm going somewhere else's bed smells terrible. Um Uh let's sleep. Um, I'm gonna sleep in Mint's bed. <laughs>